So if I start right from the beginning, the European Union has always been interested in research and innovation. A big chunk of the European tax euro goes into the support for European-based cooperative networks. And in the area of big data, we see this as a huge uh, new thing in every sector of our society. And in the area of learning, we think that learning analytics can be transformative and that Europe can play a part in bringing the best tools and practices to the learning uh, world worldwide. So in, in my personal opinion, uh, we already know that big data can be captured in ever-growing scale, but we're not yet at a world where there are sensors absolutely everywhere, and many potentially useful sensors, including the smartphones in our pockets, are not being fully used. So data is getting bigger, but it's not as big as it's going to become. That's one transformation that we're waiting to see. The second is the capacity of our software to analyze the data in ways that will tell us things we want to know. And that's the analytics piece. So I think that the first obstacle to having this everywhere is we don't quite know how to do it right yet. That's a learning process and it will not be a straight road. The other part of the learning and innovation process where there will be obstacles is what you call political or policy concerns. Society needs and sees a new thing. They like it, but they fear it. So in the country I know best, we put a red flag in front of cars and the man had to walk at walking speed with the red flag and then you could have motor cars, which sort of defeated the purpose. And it took some years before the automobile as a, an innovation was accepted. Learning analytics faces similar challenges. Do I get to know what analysis is being made of data about me or my child? Do I get to know who sees it? Can I control it? Can it be anonymized and put in mass data around learning in mathematics in Brussels or learning in my school about everything? I mean, people concerned just to know what's going on, to have a sense of control. I think that the, the, the emerging model in many sectors is that ownership of data will remain with the person or the company or the object about which the data uh, is but the access to the data will be determined by what creates social good. So it makes a lot of sense that the education minister knows overall how schools are doing. He doesn't need to know that my personal data with my address is a contributor to that data set. So publicly funded innovation in the learning analytics space is going to be funded at European level when we learn more and more quickly by cooperating across Europe and with partners worldwide. So the big contribution of a coordination action such as LACE is to bring people together to create a new space for collaboration between the, 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 the real world actors in learning analytics. I hope that that will also then become a hub of knowledge so that people thinking about analytics in medicine, in connected cars, in the Internet of Things can easily find a source of excellence in the learning analytics field and that the learning analytics field can compare what uh, insights emerge within it also with what's coming out of other fields.